Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now they did it, okay? I just said about yeah, High Seraph Ultima gonna kill Ellie and whoa, the news comes really fast on this week. They announced they will release the new Final Fantasy Tactic event, okay? So that means we will get High Seraph Ultima, okay? Ellie, sorry. Actually, it is not that sorry because yeah, you will see later that if you have Ellie, then you don't need to be salty that much, okay? So let's talk about High Seraph Ultima, okay? So I have said on Ellie versus Future Mage video that she able to chain with Tornado, Absolute Mirror of Equity, Chaos Wave, okay? Whoa, three chaining. So this make her superior than Ellie. Also, she has quad cast. And yeah, even even when she doesn't learn Pentacast, her quadcast is more accessible than Ellie Pentacast. Okay, I will talk more about that on her review video. And yes, I have I also have said that High Seraph Ultima has better row damage, okay? 22.5 times when you max it and combine with quadcast. And the insane thing about her Arcan Magic's Ultima is it gets global upgrade. Okay, so I'm not sure about what kind of upgrade, but I su suspect this is kind of fixed like Ellie Chaos Wave. So I I suspect this Hulk Serp Ultima in Japan also have a problem like Ellie, which make her cannot chain with Chaos Wave properly, but on the global, that's fixed. Okay, so that's really good. And for Trust Master Reward, High Sheriff Ultima Trust Master Reward is really good, okay? Because for most mage, you will get 60%, okay? Hat and rope. Those two pieces are the best equipment for most mages on this game. So pretty good Trust Master. So even if you already get Ellie and get this one, only one accidentally, then you don't need to be salty because her trust master is pretty good. For super trust master reward, it is kind of niche though. Okay, it is only useful for certain character. Maybe yeah, one character I can remember is burial. So yeah, but for burial, I think burial trust master is better than this because the ultimate power only useful when you equip it on herself. So it will improve your abilities damage further but I'm not sure about the other characters and her Dispelia is kinda good okay if you read this remove some status boost for all enemies and remove some status reduction for all allies so I believe this only clear good buff and bad buff from your characters but the problem is like you can see here 20 turns cooldown oh my god that's too long Okay, maybe you can only use it one or twice in the battle, so I don't think it is... It it will become a game-changing because, yeah, you will see later. And she also has 80% spirit break, however, it is decaying. Okay, so 80% on the first turn, 70% on the second turn, and 60% on the third turn, I don't remember, but yeah, that's it. And the weak point... Yes, there are two rainbows on this banner, so yeah, it is kind of maybe hard to get her. And we just got Ellie, so if you already got Ellie before, I don't think you need to pull for High Serap Ultima. Or the same, if you plan to pull High Serap Ultima, then you shouldn't pull for Ellie. I have said this on the previous week, okay? And one thing that not good. I don't like about her is no elemental chain. She can only do elemental chain using her tornado moves, but for absolute mirror of equity and chaos wave, those two are non-elemental. So again, this is where only win. First, you cannot imperil. I mean, you don't get the benefit from imperil the enemy because the chaos wave is non-elemental. But still, this is very powerful mage. Okay. Now let's take a look on the second 5 stars base, Beowulf. So Beowulf is kinda 
unnecessary. Why I said unnecessary? First, we already got two, oh no no three three super breakers in the global. I mean breakers combined with attackers, okay. And I think Beowulf is the worst because his breaks are decaying. Okay, so it's kind of yeah, like I said, unnecessary. I don't know what the developer thing about this. Okay, but the good thing about Beowulf, I don't say Beowulf is bad. I only say he is the worst of all three: Tubi, Auron, and Lorraine. So please, my haters, don't twist my word. Okay, and he can chain with Tornado, Absolute Mirror of Equity, and Octasle. So on this department, he is good. Okay, but the break, okay, 74% on the first turn, 70% on the second turn. So you get nice break, okay, on the first and second turn. But on the third turn, it becomes 60%. Whoa. So my question, why you don't use our own instead to get 70% on all three turns, okay? 70% is enough for most situations. Not most, okay. At this point of the game, I think 70% is enough. And the good thing about him is luckily his LP breaks 74% without any decaying effect. So, yes, nice. And his Super Trust Master reward. It is the first great sword from what I can remember with high magic. Okay. So, yeah, pretty nice. But I think this only useful for him because he is a hybrid character. Yes, I forgot to mention that he is a hybrid character and yeah, it's better to make him into true double hand if you want to use him as a breaker because you need to combine defense spirit break, but you can also make him into dual build. Okay, I will talk more about that later on his review video. And the weak point, there's one interesting thing about Bill Wolf single stats break so other than cooldown ability he also has sing normal break ability okay it breaks 65 percent whoa that's pretty decent right yes i agree however there is one downside it will buff respective i don't i don't know what the correct words okay sorry guys i'm not native english but it will up the opposite stats of the broken stats by 20% so let's say you break the enemy spirit then their magic gonna be up for 20% whoa try to do this on hard battle and your party probably dead no no I'm quite exaggerating sorry but this is kind of unnecessary unnecessary because Krilla Krilla yeah you remember Krilla I know she gets her awakening but she can break 65% without this shitty effect. And this break only affects single enemy. So yes, I prefer our own. Okay. And ailments. Ailments are kinda useless. So try to inflict blind to gild the mass. Whoa. And yeah. I don't like him being hybrid. But that's a matter of preference. Maybe you like hybrid character in that way. He is good for you. Enough about 5 stars characters. Now let's take a look on 4 and 3 stars base. The 4 stars base character, Riz. So she is Beowulf's wife. And I think... Yeah, like I have said on... From my shoot you summon video. Past, or past videos, I mean. Gumi? No, no, not Gumi. Only him has been lazy designing for four stars based characters and this is one of them i don't think she is usable on this game yes she is good she has 20 hits attack which has fire ice lightning elements but yeah i believe it can it can be only chained with herself so I think she's only useful for this event, okay, you get two rays, then you chain this attack to get elemental chain and use your real attacker to finish the enemy. 
that's good but on outside situation i mean not even situation i don't think you will ever use her okay and her trust master reward luckily it is quite good because 40 percent magic without restricted to certain type of weapon and it boosts your fire eyes and lightning resist which means it is also good for your aoe magic tank and i can remember beryl beryl and yes i don't like it but her maybe maybe oh yeah not maybe but i believe she is only usable for this event okay so enough about race now let's take a look on the three stars base construct eight so construct eight is yeah i don't need to say this but useless because he is only max at five stars so even if you are newbie you won't ever use him okay the only purpose he has is to boost your points 50 percent and to get the trust master surprisingly this trust master is quite good i think they put some thought on this one okay reduce attack and magic by 20 percent yes that's quite big but it is not important because this trust master is meant for a provoker or tanker so they don't need attack and magic stats so this one is really good so i won't be salty if i get 20 construct 8 later in the future because i won't do much pulling on this event okay so i think that's all you need to know about the characters now the final question should you summon yes of course because this is a king mock event so you need the characters to get a bonus points but from my experience you only need about 150 to 200 percent boost if you form on the elite difficulty okay i yeah, I able to buy most of the important items. Not most, okay. For me, I can buy yeah all event items, UOC tickets. So aim for that. And for the five stars base, should you change them? Mm, I don't think so, okay. First, if especially if you have Garden Alley, because yeah, you won't get much. If you already have Ellie and get High Serp Ultima, wait for the next big power bomb. Maybe for Soul? Okay? And for Beowulf. He's nice breaker, but like I said on like I said before, I prefer Auron. But if you are into a hybrid character, then maybe you want to pull Beowulf. But for me, no. Decaying is kinda niche and annoying. Not niche, okay, but unnecessary. Yes, unnecessary. And luckily, because you need to pull for bonus, the four and three stars base characters are not that bad because their trust master reward is are perfectly usable for the characters on this game. Okay, so yep, I think that's all you need to know. But this Final Fantasy Tactics: The War of the Lions banner. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy, Prime Vex VS Guide. Bye bye guys!